guys welcome back to my channel welcome 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 guys Zini Upep home is the girl who she thinks that she is because wow 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 look at these little gems that I discovered at the Centurion mall this is at the Reed guys this is like proper proper heavy glass um, vases I mean I can see all the setups that I could do with this and I'm seeing it how it could be so cute at home also but like if you are new this is your first time tuning in or watching welcome to my channel my name is Uluwando and I am an events planner so this is a huge part of being an events planner that you always trying to keep up with trends with regards to deco items and because there's always trends and changes it is quite a costly um, exercise to do that you're trying to keep up with these vases and i mean half the time we're talking big quantities so if you're an events planner minimum of a vase that you need to have is four you always want to try and buy even numbers of items so you either buy four six eight and then you do have the big planners who buy at the range of 20 30 all the way to 100 because they do 100 seaters so each table or each table would have like maybe four vases or four centerpieces so I thought for those of y'all who are sleeping on pep home and don't know about this little plug look at this vase guys like the green the gold how it comes together yes in I had to had a few pull myself back to myself moments Jongani Lena Just pop some fresh flowers and that would be even look that would even look beautiful in Lili for a little side table situation that you're gonna create. So as I was saying, I decided to do this pep home video for anyone who's interested in just updating the house, the kitchen, their um bathroom guys everything is at pep home but i'm focusing today on the vases glasses ornaments that we can use in setups when we do event event um uh, setups sorry so um one shout out to the staff at pep home they were so helpful and um it was very pleasant because I have the same feel about the online presence. If you didn't know, Pep Home does have an Instagram account and they post regularly. So if you want to always know what's new in their stores, that's a good place to start. They do also have the website. But again, obviously, because Instagram is more of a social space, if you have questions, they do respond to the comments if you have questions so i have this one frustration because i've watched a few pep home decor hauls on youtube and i always come down with my one problem I watch videos and I get so excited. I see nice things. I'll make an example with the famous Pep Home table. I don't know if you guys know about it. It's the white top. It's a side table. It's a white top with gold skinny legs. Stunning, 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 stunning table. Been to four stores or Pep Home and not one of them have it. I went as far as asking the guys on their instagram page about guys in i've been leaving my name and number at stores and they were so nice and they replied saying they really did not anticipate that um some of the items would literally fly off the shelves 
but they will um, definitely uh, obviously restock up. COVID is playing a big part in the manufacturing and delivery and stocking and blah, 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 blah. So I was actually very happy they just they responded. So I've left my name and number in four stores. I'm almost definite that I will get this table. But so what I made sure to do is the this video I recorded this past Saturday on the 8th of August. I went to the Centurion Pep Home on Sunday. I then went to the Southgate Pep Home, which is the 9th of August. So that anybody who is interested in buying anything that you see on this video, it's within um, a, a time frame where of hopefully what we, I recorded the weekend is still obviously there for you to go get um, what you want. I will um, put out a big caution though. Something I wasn't happy about with Pep Home. You will note um, the difference once um, the video carries on to the Southgate um, review. That Pep Home stocks different ranges of products across their stores. So you could see something on the website, right? And then you'll think, oh, okay, I can go to my pep home here in Greenstone Mall. When you get there, the ladies have never seen the item you're talking about. They don't have no record of it on their system. And then now you left having to call around or pep home. And chances are you'll find the ones that are closer to the verbs have that certain item which i really did not like um about pep home i really hope they try and level out the ground because the things i saw at pep home centurion compared to the things i saw at southgate wasn't everything and also the product range you will see guys it differs quite a bit and also the quantities that they have at the burbs are different to the quantities that we have in the, your more local pep homes so big advice if you want to go do any type of haul if you want to go shopping if you want to really spend your coins try get to a pep home that's in the burbs sorry to say this but they stock the more nicer things pep home i hope you're listening and you guys are going to do something about this So this item, I actually liked it, especially the wheel part for carrying around stuff at events and having bags, a little bag. So now I can just put everything. I'm definitely going back for this item. Put everything there, tie a rope and drag that thing around. These I thought were just so adorable. If you're having like a baby shower, you're having a kid's party, I don't know. I just found them cute. And these glass... Um, Bottles, they like the in thing. Ladies, this is how you need to be sipping on your water. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. Now, this is nice. I actually found something similar at Osbro. It's exactly the same shape, but they're just slightly longer than this. I really love this for a blue setup just to do something different. And we all know the holy grail of all event planners. If you don't own these, <laughs> I get, you, um, you must be the elite of the elite. I have this. My friends have this. And obviously, color guys, add color. Just changing one, va one um, glass on your setup gives the world of a difference. It just lifts up your whole setup as opposed to having the plain clear um, glasses. And if you are going to go clear, try also use these ones where the shapes are more oval and just try avoid those ones that we all know that they used to use back then, the restaurant ones. Blah. Let's move from there. And these I thought were cute. Having a kid's party or baby shower or something for juice dispensers. Also here, add some color. 
just because you can. I think this would even be nice for the house when your guests are over. Just, you know, someone asked for a glass of water. I don't know. But I loved. And this one, it is the oddest shape ever. But I loved the color. I loved this color. It would look so nice with a pink setup, with like a maroon setup. Weird looking glass though, but uh, that color. Shem Pep really came through with colors with um, glasses, guys. If you need plates, if you have a tea party theme, Pep is the girl. They've got tea sets. I don't know how many people have ever asked me about tea sets. And welcome to Pep Home Southgate Mall. Whoop, whoop. Oh, guys, these vases. I definitely need to get these. Like, I definitely need to get these. Four blue, four green for clear these are a definite must definite definite must get definite so you can easily see already that the southgate store um with regards to quantity huge difference to the centurion store the product also as you can see they have they only have one two three left of things and they don't have all those other ombre um, vases that you saw the green and the gold the pink and the purple or the purple and the blue i was so sad they didn't have those here but I was happy to see that they did have um, those ones I showed in the beginning with the rope. Definitely getting those ones. I do have to share though my one not very nice experience with Pep Home. I, I'm not sure if this has changed, but when I needed to get the Holy Grail of Olivet planners, which is those crystal glasses um, I just showed at Centurion Mall, I could not find those glasses anywhere. Now, I do attribute this to there was a high demand for those glasses at a specific time last year so anyone who was anyone was gunning out and buying those um glasses so now you have to comprehend in events planning there are different ranges of event planners you have the smaller ones you have medium ones so smaller ones would be the 20 setups your 30 setups and then you have your medium planners who take events of up to 50 seaters to 100 seaters to do weddings and then you have the ones who do big events and corporate gigs so i'm there trying to get just 20 glasses because i'm still like working my way into events so each time you get to a store it is sold out so what you end up doing is which frustrated the daylight out of me is you would go into one pep home store and if you're lucky I'll find maybe three champagne crystal glasses and 
two wine glasses and that's it you ask when they're getting stock they don't know you ask which other store has they don't know because they don't have a centralized inventory um, system like they do example at mr price home mr price home you can go into the website and you can check product and quantity for specific stores even if you call in and give them i think it's the SKU number they're able to tell you which stores in your selected area have the items and they can give you the specific amount of items they had so pep home does not do this so I spent a great amount of time calling different stores trying to establish if they had the items and it was the hardest thing to do because sometimes the person that was trying to assist me God bless their souls. They really wanted to assist me, but they don't know what I'm talking about. They don't have like a system where they can type something in and show like they can type something in and it will show them the picture on their end. So they're able to actually know what they're looking for. So I had to describe all the time and sometimes I'd get to a store and it wasn't what I wanted. So I had to go to a few stores to try get my, um, event uh crystal glasses i will say though guys the best pep home i've been to with regards to quantities um for crystal glasses if anyone is interested was the pep home in town it is there i don't know what it's called but it's by Elof street where the buses the metro buses go if you walk down the pathway from Ilof where there is jet if you go straight down there you will find the pep home it's hidden on the right hand side it's got two floors it is even for clothes for kids for adults that is the best pep home in the south i still want to check out the pep home though in the mall of the south I haven't heard great things i haven't heard bad things i haven't heard nothing about the pep except for they had an opening so I will definitely go check that out and I will let you guys know what they have there. And hopefully Pip is working on having some type of centralized system. I do know that we've been hinting a lot on social media that they definitely need to have an online platform where we can actually buy things online without having to go into the store. And whoever's running their social media has been responding with hints and smiley faces and winks so i'm definitely hopeful it's definitely in the cards and i'm super excited and i would absolutely love for that to be a thing because then i won't have to drive around and shop around and call around when i need things oh these are so great imagine having a nice cocktail mix there gin so you will note that i have changed clothes and i'm wearing my hair because it was a new day this was sunday when i went to pep home i just really wanted to prove to myself that i was right with my theory that um, different stores do different stock do stock different items and that um there is major priority given to the stores in the burbs with regards to the nicer, more high-end looking items as they do to the more local stores that we have. Example, Southgate. Guys, please do let me know in the comment section if you found this helpful, if you loved this plug. Um, I do obviously have other places where I source out my deco items. Not necessarily cheap, but again, the holy grail of events. 
but um, places where I do know that I find um, good ranges of products and unique things because I think the major thing about events and being an event planner is you want to have really unique items so hopefully by the time everybody gets on to whatever that trend is you've really moved over I really did love these sites guys thank you so much for watching this is the end obviously pip is pip they've got the balloons they've got the serviettes they've got straws thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching please enjoy the rest of your holidays i will be staying in and relaxing